Now, let's move to the A2, A level content, business and its environment. Uh, that has been made of that has been made section number six separately now. Uh, coming to the uh, first part of the section number six, uh, external influences on business activity, political and legal. Uh, we have already been teaching to those uh, to the students uh, as part of uh, unit one in uh, A levels, but now it's a part of unit six in A levels now. Uh, the, how the government might use laws and all that we have been already teaching to the students. So external influences includes economic influences now uh, too that were already part of the syllabus and the social and demographic too, technological too, competitors, international should be specially focused now. So we should be teaching our students especially this environmental and then uh, the topic 6.2 the strategy uh, that was in section number 6 originally and uh, we have made uh, the uh, topic 1 part of that was originated from the unit number 1 we have made part of the section number 6 now as I have shown you uh, strategic management topic with business strategy we will teach all those things that we have been already teaching in the business uh, the scenario planning is some new term here uh, quarter 5 forces, core competencies and so forth, field the CN field uh, and there is blue ocean strategy we will have to teach our students now. Uh, corporate planning uh, we have been already teaching now, contingency planning we have been already teaching so nothing new. Uh, coming to the uh, section number 7, organizational structure. Uh, the relationship between business objective and organizational structure, the purpose of the structure and all that interpretation of the things. This was already being taught in section number 2, now in section number 7. Uh, organizational structure continued, this was already we were teaching there, level of hierarchy, chain of command and uh, uh, delaying and all that, delegation, accountability, control, authority, trust, centralization, decentralization, line, staff management and uh, the two point, uh, the originally stopped part of the section number 2 was uh, section number 7, business communication, we have been already teaching that, uh, channels of communication, barriers to the communication. Uh, the role of the management in facilitating communication we should be focusing now. <clears throat> uh, we were talking about the leadership and I was saying that uh, the leadership has been moved from A1 but there, there are something added to the A2 syllabus now that is the theories of the leadership, key leadership theories, trait, behavioral, contingency, power, influences and uh, transformational, we should teach them now. Emotional intelligence was already part of even emotional quotient, we should teach it now in A2, uh, government for competencies, self-awareness, self-control and all that. Okay, uh, the last chapter of this unit number 7 is the human resource strategy. We have been already teaching that difference between the hard and soft nature and flexible working contracts strategy for improvement of the employee's performance. Uh, there are uh, different types of contract shift, job sharing, complex working hours and the big economy. Uh, the changing rules of the information technology and artificial intelligence in HR. This is the new thing that has been added to syllabus. The changing roles of the information technology and artificial intelligence. Uh, the role of artificial intelligence in whole syllabus is increasing actually. So we should be especially focusing on that. Uh, coming to the uh, unit number 8 that was originally part of the unit number 3, uh, the marketing analysis, elasticity is already there, interpretation of elasticity, we have been already teaching that, model development we have been already teaching that, uh, sales forecast we have been already teaching that, coming to the marketing strategy, all of the things we have been teaching already, but approaches to the marketing strategy and the changes in all of information technology and artificial intelligence in marketing. As I told you earlier, that artificial intelligence is everywhere in what syllabus now. The changing role of information and the artificial intelligence in marketing will have, will have to teach it separately to the students. Uh, strategies for international marketing, we have been already teaching that there is nothing new in that. Coming to the operations management. <clears throat> location and scale of operation has been added from A1 to A2. The impact of globalization on location and relocation decisions, this is especially to be focused. Uh, there was already the offshoring and, uh, and reshoring we have been teaching to the students but we should be focusing on that because examiner may test such kind of stuff now. Uh, location and scale uh, continued, I don't think so, there is something new in that, yes. Uh, cause of the internal economy of scale and the, okay. Uh, quality management chapter, 
that was already into the operational strategy again the changes changing role of information technology and artificial intelligence in operations management so as i told you you will find artificial intelligence everywhere in this universe in flexibility and innovation <clears throat> we've been already tasting that but then enterprise resource planning uh, the question that has been repeatedly asked from us since last two years almost the examiner has become one of the most favorite topics of examiner similarly without a reason i don't know but enterprise resource planning is there now as 9.3.3 uh, the lean production has separately uh, made a topic now operation strategy uh, as 9.3.4 the aims and the purpose of the lean production kaizen quality circle cell production jip uh, waste management uh, the limitation of the lean production and all that it has been separated from the quality uh, now operations planning uh, the need of operation planning is there uh, cpa and all that already there we have been teaching that and there is nothing special in that coming to the section number 5 that has been made to section number 10 now uh, statement of profit and loss uh, uh, from a1 to a2 statement of financial position from a1 to a2 uh, financial inventory valuation is the new thing now the difficulties in value inventory the net realizable value method these are the two new things that we have to teach to the students i repeat the difficulties in value inventory and the net realizable value method and the depreciation the one of depreciation the down straight line method we have been already teaching that if someone was not teaching please do teach it now uh, analysis of the population account liquidity ratios already teaching Profitability ratios already teaching gross profit margin interpretation profit margins and methods of improving profitability then financial efficiency ratios uh, financial efficiency trade receivable turnover trade payable turnover we will have to teach especially to the students now uh, methods of improving financial efficiency rate of inventory turnover we have already teaching uh, coming to the Gary ratio we have been already teaching that so. Analysis of the published account, calculation and interpretation. Uh, investment appraisal has become uh, uh, investment appraisal was also already there, so uh, it's part of unit number ten now. Uh, there is nothing new in that investment appraisal. We have been already teaching. Now uh, there is a topic that is called financial and accounting strategy ten point four. The use of accounting data to enable a strategic decision making. Uh, the use of financial statement in development of strategies, the content of annual report and their usefulness. This will be continued with the financial accounting strategies, uh, the impact of debt equity on the decision making and all that. These are the things that we have we will have to specially focus to teach the 2023 syllabus to avoid the confusion. Thank you to the examiner. He has provided us with some formulas too that to be that are to be used. Trade receivable, trade payables, investment ratios, and all that. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. And uh, we will talk about it next video. About uh, we'll, I'll open uh, the mark schemes of these four papers in front of you, and we'll talk about. Thank you very much.